We're back here live on All Access Indy Las Vegas. Beautiful Las Vegas right here. And uh, all the action taking place at Allegiant Stadium right there. And uh, still on record here, folks. The hardest ticket to get right now. The highest, most expensive ticket uh, for a Super Bowl ever. So they're ready to see 49ers and the Chiefs ready to go to work here in Las Vegas. Anthony Calhoun back here live with you right here at the link right in front of the beautiful Caesar Palace. We continue to talk more about the matchup coming up on Sunday between the Chiefs and the 49ers. Want to walk in a guy who uh, he knows a little bit about football. He knows a lot about football. 14 years uh, in the NFL as a head coach and coaching, I should say, in the NFL. Of course, we've spent 30 years in the league as far as just coaching, just being around the game. Chuck Pagano from Annapolis Coast Head Coach. Chuck, great to connect with you out here uh, in Las Vegas. Uh, uh, we know there's a lot of casinos, but we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the game here coming up uh, on Sunday. I, I want to ask you this. I mean, you've been around so many players and coaches who have played in the big game. Um, what is the mentality? What is the focus this week as they get ready to go to work on Sunday? Yeah, it's like avoiding all the distractions, right? Yeah. They've been at home for the first week, got the plan pretty much done. But now once you get here, it's it's get the family squared away, get the tickets, of wives, moms, dads, whoever, right? But then it's really the pace. The day is really, really long. Halftime is, is 30 minutes. So yeah. getting in and out of a routine is going to be paramount for these guys. But eliminate as much distraction as you possibly can. Get out there and let your preparation show. Okay, so let's talk about the quarterback for the Chiefs and Patrick Mahomes. Here he is trying to go for his third Super Bowl. Um, give me your, your thoughts on him and just what you're seeing from him, especially during this playoff run. He's he's unbelievable, right? He's 14-3, and three, I think, his playoff record. 4,500-plus yards, yeah. 38 touchdowns, only seven interceptions the guy what he does so good it's the off script plays right it's a bad play that he turns into a good play you know so he elevates all of his teammates around him he's just one of those guys where if it's going to come down late in the fourth quarter yeah. and you need something to happen you need some Mahomes magic he's going to make that happen and pull out the game okay so on the flip side you know I want to talk more about just the coach in the seven Kyle Shanahan a guy who's been there before but it has been some tough moments here for Kyle Shanahan give me your assessment on him yeah a disappointing loss to the Patriots up 28-3 yeah. blew another fourth quarter lead to the Chiefs a couple years back so his focus is not on those games. It can't be on those games, right? It's got to be on this game coming up on Sunday. Because if he's focused on those and what went wrong in that one, he's probably not going to get out of here with a win. Yeah, you look at Kyle Shanahan. has got his team, though, in the Super Bowl. This is a rematch of Super Bowl 54 between these two teams. And so we'll see if his team, if they get the lead, if they can hang on with the lead against the very talented Patrick Mahomes and the Chiefs. And so we wrap things up here. i got to ask you about uh, one of your former players. It was special night for Dwight Freeney, a part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame. He played for you in that short year. Um, I know you were excited to see him get the opportunity to go to camp. Oh, right? Congratulations to Dwight and his family. What, yeah. an, what an honor, man. Uh, you talk about edge guys and having pass rushers. Mathis on one side and now Freeney goes <laughs> yeah. in the Hall of Fame on the other. Yeah. And that spin move. I was watching the highlights again on, on, on social media today. Like, he was, he tormented offensive tap. I mean, it was a nightmare. It was honor being his coach for, for one season there in 2012. But congratulations to Dwight. Congratulations to his, his family. And so well-deserved. So well-deserved. And uh, it was great being with him last night. And you can just see how just like, just excited he was because he knows he's in an area where so many NFL players dream they can land one day. And so there he is, a part of the Pro Football Hall of Fame uh, for the class of 2024. And I got to believe uh, one of our guys, a guy who's very close to you, Reggie Wayne, you got to believe he's going to get his call next year down in New Orleans, right? Got to be. Couldn't, gotta write, be. A, yeah, couldn't yeah. write a better script, that's, right? That's right. He, he's yeah, it's be. coming. All right, Chuck, thank you so much. Thank Our good you. friend Chuck Pagano here hanging out with us live here in Las Vegas.